Well, hello there. I am Mike the Zorch, and you may have noticed that there was no Zorch Central show on Friday. May not be for a little while now. Uh, Tyra and I had a discussion, and we talked about this. It was a short discussion. He's still working on a big project, and the other thing is, is setting up for our show takes a lot of time because we have to set up the green we have to set the green screen up it's already in place but it's blocking our tool shelf in the other room you know sometimes we need to get in there and we have to pull everything out in order to get to it and then um, put it all back when we're done and so it's all in the the stuff is all in the way and those uh studio lights are big the 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 biggest ones are are the big ones with the big uh fold out reflector with the um diffuser on on top of it the really big ones those are all in the way and it's a hassle to take off the reflector and diffuser fold it down hold down the posts you know the the stands put the lights in the stands in their in their bag take down the uh the green screen take down the green the the rigging that holds the green screen it's a hassle to have to do that every single time we usually just leave the green screen up but it's right in the way because we don't have a dedicated room for our uh, live for our live stream and recording. We don't have a dedicated room. We, it's our front room, really, our living room. And so we've basically taken it over with that. Now we have the green screen that I use permanently mounted to the wall behind me where I sit at the uh, at the computer. But where Tiger would sit, he ha it's just sitting there. We just put the lights up and plug everything in, and it's it's a hassle to have to move everything. Plus, we have to adjust some stuff in order to do do all this. So, one of the things we're gonna do, um, and it's gonna be a while before we start the show back up. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we are going to permanently put the second green screen up on another on another wall we have another wall that we can put it up on so we're going to permanently mount that one to the wall and then what we're going to do next uh, this is the one that's going to take a couple of take a while take a couple of weeks we're going to get new studio lights we're going to get two new sets of studio lights we have enough saved up in the house fund in order to do that in order to get it uh, it'll cost about, I think he said it was 400 and so we'll get, um, we'll get four sets of two, because they come in two packs, and they're these, they were, if, if you're in, if you want to know, they are, if go to Techmoan's, um, uh, page on YouTube, and look at the video where he reviews the light, this is the light we're going to get. And it lets you control the color temperature of the light, the brightness. Right now, we're just using uh, the lights with the um, you know little umbrella reflectors. Uh, two of those for illuminating the green screen, and then the big ones, the big uh, black reflectors that are silver on the inside, and they have a diffuser stretched over the top. Oh. Uh, we're going to be replacing those because those are big and in the way and we can't leave them set up and they are a hassle to have to take down and put back up again we have these um led lights they'll be much smaller if when they're up they won't be as big they won't be as in the way won't, we won't have to we'll be able to actually get through the room with the lights um set up and working and 
these lights can also run on battery there's a um, rechargeable battery pack actually two uh, with them and it charge and it runs them off battery which is really good but we're gonna be powering them off the wall from the wall for what we're gonna be doing but if we ever needed to have you know light somewhere they're battery powered or they can run off battery power so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna replace those huge lights and so setting them up will be significantly less of a hassle because before we had to just take everything apart and everything up uh, the the way we do it way would we would do it with the new lights is we just take them off the pole the pole shrinks down just like a, a tripod a camera tripod does just telescopes down and then uh, we'll put it into a tote box slide it up under the desk and done we'll have everything set up within like three minutes everything set up and torn down in three minutes and the lights come with their own uh, protective case so it'll be a lot easier for us to set up that way and we won't have these big bulky things in the way all the time uh, those things are are they're they're huge they're sitting in our living room right now and in, in the room in there right now and they're just in the way they're in the way they're just huge so these lights will be way better but it's gonna be a couple of weeks before we can get them so no Zort Central show again for a while I had something planned to cover um, what was going on with EA with um, what was going on with them at the moment also, we were going to talk about Apex Legends. I did a video for uh, Apex Legends on Gamers Bay. And, uh, you know, we we're going to talk about a few, few subjects, but that will change. I'm going to have to scrap that whole thing about what we were going to talk about. And when we get around to being able to do the show again, we will then pick up from that point you know whatever is in whatever new stuff is in the news oh the one thing we were going to other thing we were going to talk about is that um Kiri Hart one of Kathleen Kennedy's social justice warrior buddies is no longer in charge of the Star Wars story group oh so we were going to discuss that so Apparently, well, Disney doesn't say anything. They don't tell us anything of what's going on within Lucasfilm. And Lucasfilm is just notoriously quiet when it comes to stuff that goes on internally in the company. They don't tell you anything. So uh, what, we've, what we've got from people on the inside who have been leaking information is... Kathleen Kennedy has been not fired because Disney can't afford to fire her right now because firing her would affect their stock would affect their stock price. It would affect their stock price and they can't do anything that affects that stock price because they're in the middle of buying Fox. They're going through and finalizing that deal and it's there's something involving their stock that's a part of the deal. I think it's a stock swap that's involved. So their stock price has to stay where it's at or has to stay high. They can't let it drop. And reporting that they let go somebody, a CEO of a company that they own, would make their stock just plummet. And they can't afford to have that so Disney has been going out of their way to try and avoid any kind of you know bad press which is also why Disney also went on record saying that they were happy with how EA is handling the Star Wars license if they had 
said that they were not happy with how EA was handling the Star Wars license. And there are people who, the writer for Rogue One had basically gone on record saying that EA should lose the license, that they mismanaged it. They, they have not done a good job with the license. I think that Disney really doesn't like what D EA has done with the license, but they can't say that, again, because of the Fox deal. They can't say something that would negatively impact their stock price. Until that's done, until the whole uh, buyout of Fox is done, then they can move on some things. Then they can, if they're going to let go Kathleen Kennedy, that's when they would do it, is after, uh, after the Fox acquisition. Then they could afford to have their stocks dip a little bit. No, because it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna completely tank. They're gonna see a dip, but they're not gonna like mo lose billions off of it. It's just gonna have a, it's just gonna be a sh small dip. But that small dip could affect their ability to buy Fox. So that's why, that's why they defended EA, and that's why they have not done anything to Kathleen Kennedy. What they did do. And, and this is all based on information given by people inside Lucasfilm, or whether it, any of it's true or not, but a lot of evidence suggests that it is. She's been promoted out of her position so that she is in a position in Lucasfilm where she can no longer have major influence over, over the movies. Basically, uh, in... In Japan, this would be called getting a corner office. And also, uh, Tigra and Dave worked for the Internal Revenue Service. They were programmers. And whenever there was, because it was, because it's so difficult to fire people, because it's just so difficult to fire people, whenever they had a trouble person, what they would do is they would just they would just promote them upward out of the area and and put them someplace else where they couldn't do any more damage. That's basically what Disney did with Kathleen Kennedy. They just promoted her up. They gave her a bunch of new responsibilities to keep her busy. And this other person, Carrie Hart, who was a part of the story group and one of her big social justice warrior uh, buddies is no longer listed as an employee of Lucasfilm. Um, and she's, she's the one that's responsible for a lot of the social justice crap that went into The Last Jedi. Now, does this mean that that's going to be gone from Episode 9? Don't know. I don't know. Um... Leaked information says that J.J. Abrams is working to fix a lot of stuff that Ryan Johnson busted. And Ryan Johnson acting out like a big baby recently lends some credence to that. Because, you know, I know the mentality of social justice warriors. I know, their, I know the liberal mentality. And he's acting out like that which means which means that um stuff's happening behind the scenes at lucasfilm that uh he doesn't like meaning they're shifting the narrative away from you know the crazy um these crazy notions of men are evil and uh, women can do no wrong sort of mentality of the social justice warriors and you now that stuff doesn't belong in Disney I mean yes there's a problem of you know of sexual harassment in the workplace in workplaces there's a, there's a sexual harassment problem but demonizing all men 
Um, also, demonizing white people it doesn't help. It doesn't help. What 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 they're doing? What the social justice warriors are doing? Their their ideology that they're pushing is divisive. It's not a ideology that comes from a place of love. It comes from a place of hate. They're basically trying to fight, you know, discrimination with more discrimination. Like Einstein said, you know, you cannot solve a problem with the same energy that created it. You can't. You just cannot do it. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, create equality and... You know, they're trying to create equality by being by promoting inequality. How how do you get equality by promoting inequality? How do you stop racial hate by promoting racial hate? You can't. That's the thing. You can't. And you can't tell them that because they'll start screaming. They'll call you a, a racist or a sexist or whatever. They'll st just start screaming because you hit a social justice warrior with the truth. They'll completely freak because they can't handle the truth. It's like, they go, they, you can't handle the truth. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off my soapbox here. Um, that's one of the things we were going to talk about on the show. You know, um, hang on, I forget the other topic. We were we were going to do it. I had even some notes down. The other thing we were going to talk about is Apex Legends. Um, I as I said, I did a video for that on Gamers Bay. Never played a battle royale game before. I've got Fortnite uh, because I've got the um, I got the Epic Store. I updated the old Epic launcher that was just for the Unreal Tournament engine, uh, Unreal Tournament uh, beta, and the Unreal engine. I I had that and I had to reinstall for the updated client, which was which also incorporates the um, the Epic Store, and I grabbed Fortnite from that, and I was going to try that out, and maybe do a video on that. And then Apex Legends dropped, and I thought, you know, this is a brand new game, and this is going to get a lot of traffic. And Gamers Bay needs traffic and subscribers right now, because we are close to a thousand sub subs. And that would get us back onto the partner program and everything, with a thousand subs. And we've got enough, you know, consistent watch time and from people. That we can get back on that program because last year YouTube changed the rules and we were no longer a part of the program then we'll get the rules back plus also we will get the patreon like um, subscription um, option available to us too so that people could subscribe so that people could have a paid subscription to the channel to donate some uh, money to us because you know we're gonna um, they're gonna shut down the Patreon page. Not anybody was uh, sending any money our way through that, but because you know a lot of people are leaving Patreon because of what happened to Sargon of Akkad, which was uh, complete and awful bullshit. What they did to him, uh, he did not break their rules, yet they kicked them off anyway, and. You know, that's a quick way to completely ruin your business. You know, that, that, that demonstrates to people that, you know, you don't follow your own rules. I mean, YouTube doesn't follow their own rules. They have a rules. They have rules against violence, yet they have this new show called Wayne, which is like really serious violence. I mean, really the bad stuff that they normally ban people for and their show has it you know it's complete hypocrisy there I mean you're gonna have an original show that has all the stuff in it 
that you ban people for. Like, seriously. I, YouTube, just as Steam needed a competitor in Epic Games and Discord and GOG, just as, just as Steam needed a competitor in order to kick them out of their complacency, YouTube needs a competitor to kick them out of their complacency. And right now, none exist. You know, yes, there's Daily Motion, there's Vimeo. You have to pay for Vimeo to really get any benefit out of it. And Daily Motion is a joke. And there's really no other one. There was going to be one um, from, from the people that... Uh, I even forget the name now. <laughs> but uh, you earned cryptocurrency for uh, people watching your videos. And that was... Uh, Steam it. Steam it. They had a video service, and that has lots of issues. That service has a lot of problems. Uh, and then Vidme collapsed. There's still Minds.com, but that's niche for different kinds of videos. It's not for gaming videos. We need something that is real competition Facebook and Twitch tried they're still trying Facebook is trying and failing Twitch has a better chance of it um, they're they're more for live streaming and stuff if anybody could build a could build a video service similar to YouTube that could compete with them it would be Amazon or Microsoft now Amazon had talked about trying to create their own YouTube and then they bought twitch and now twitch is let you upload videos and everything up to their service but uh, that's they're not making any significant headway there for that Microsoft has mixer but mixer is just strictly uh, live streaming uh, they don't have anything for you to as far as I know they don't have anything for uploading videos or anything but um, there, there there does need to be serious competition for YouTube and that will kick YouTube out of their complacency because the stuff they're doing the stuff they're doing is hurting the people that put them where they are the the people that made YouTube what it is YouTube did not you know become the monolith that it is now you know with cat videos it didn't it became the monolith it is because of all the creators that started putting their videos on the uh, on the service all the the barnacleses, all the J's two senses, all the um, bitwits, all the um, tech syndicates, all the um, all all the PewDiePies, and different different uh, different uh, gaming channels. The gaming channels can make up a bulk of YouTube's traffic, and before they they used to fight against having gaming videos on their service they used they used to you know fight against having them now they want them now they give gaming channels the the option for um, people to donate to the channel directly from YouTube ahead of everyone else if you're a gaming channel you get that option Every, everyone else has to have 10,000 subscribers or more so gaming channels get that anyway um anyway so the Zort Central show it will be back 
uh, after we get the new lighting. So it'll be a lot easier to set up in, in that room one there. And it won't be so much of a hassle. Because every time it, it takes like, you know, it, it's almost an hour to set up for it. Now, we're, we're working on some stuff. I can't say what right now, but we're working on some stuff to try and improve things here. And we might we might move you know we own this place but we're we're working on some things that might allow us to move and you know if we end up with uh, something that will let us have a more permanent uh studio where we can leave everything the way it is we have been looking at the possibility of finding some stuff at Home Depot that will let us mount poles to the desk that we can mount those lights on permanently so we don't ever have to move them because they're they're so small they won't be in the way so they can be permanently mounted in place all I have to do is just come in click everything on and then sit down and uh, start recording so we're working on different stuff it's slow going because we have to save up the money for it but again we're working on some stuff that will help improve uh finances for all of that especially moving and and everything that it will be no time soon that's months and months and months and months away maybe even years away from us being able to do anything like that Oh, it's it's just something we've got planned, something that we're working towards, and it, it's slow going because we have to build up the money for it. You now, um, the channel current this channel currently doesn't have a Patreon. Um, our sub levels are not high enough to be able to get back onto the partner program, so we won't be able to get, uh, you know ad revenue or we won't be able to have you know subscribers to the channel so I'm gonna think of some other creative ways to uh, get revenue for the channel uh, one of the ways we're doing it is Daniel who is uh, the owner of Gamers Bay he has a store on eBay retro game store so uh, I'll have a, a link to that in the description below for you to check that out and uh, I think that's it for today so oh oh and next week I will be switching the um, bike with Mike schedule you know still 9 a.m. every day 9 a.m. central every day and 9 a.m. Central, and, and it will be every day instead of just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I am um, going to reposition my camera to get a better angle, show the exercise bike and everything that I do. And uh, I also uh, looked at, it was a video I watched, I think it was, it was one of those top, um, 10 or, or, or tech videos that shows you different innovations and stuff there was an exercise um, machine that attaches to your chair had those elastic bands that you use saw that and I, I might pick that up uh, probably not this month maybe next month and I'm a little tight now so um, let me get that and add that to my um, exercise regime that I'm that I've been doing. I've been going for like 30 minutes on the bike and then the weights until my arms fall off. So that's what I've been doing, and because I'm still a little too heavy to go walking around the um, trailer park, and also it's been it's been cold right now. It's 
Right now we gotta we gotta run the water right now so that our pipes don't freeze tonight. Anyway, um uh, again, thanks for watching. Gamers Bay is moving from Google Plus over to MeWe. MeWe is a social network that puts your privacy first. They'll never sell your data to anybody. They they focus on your privacy. We are there. We have our presence there. I've been there for more than a month now. So come and check us out. The link is in the description below. I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.